Good evening, everybody. Michael Soothing here. You know, I noticed a couple of people with ASMR videos uh, do a thing where they're you know, rubbing their dog or cat or something, and the cat is all soothed and everything. And it occurs to me that um, probably a lot of animals are into ASMR, and we just don't know it. By the way, all that banging outside is the wind blowing really hard and uh, blowing the wind chimes around, banging doors in the house and stuff like that. Wind can be soothing sometimes if it doesn't get too carried away. Um, but anyway, on to our topic of the pets. I notice, for example, that if I take these agates here, and I make a soothing sound with them, I have a couple of different pets here who get soothed by it. But they're unusual. They're not the normal cat and dog, you know. So I'm going to just uh, show you one of them. But I'm also going to show you a clip or two of a bird that not only gets soothed by ASMR, but does some soothing with ASMR and creates her own ASMR. So we're going to show you a clip of that and uh, then I'll show you a pet that goes to sleep to the soothing sound of these rocks right here being, you know, moved around a little bit. Actually, she goes to a sleep to a lot of different stimuli, but this would just be one of them, I guess, okay? So, um, you know, we had a pet here, a very beloved cat at one time. I can't show her to you because she got to be close to two decades old and, um, you know, got to the old age thing. But um, Mrs. Mikey been missing her so bad that she has to soothe herself at night uh, by having TV on and go to sleep where she used to listen to the cat purring while she was reading and that been going on about I don't know eight nine months now so that shows how much pets can soothe us in some ways I got a picture of her because I have a daughter who can do art and that's the kitty that uh, went on to kitty heaven her name was Wendy that's why she has stars around her and stuff now she waiting there for Mrs. Mikey someday, so, um, she was a very soothing, uh, you know, comfort animal. But, um, enough of that, let's get on to the animals we do have around here. I'll show you a couple of clips done earlier, and, um, then we'll close. Alright, so I'm going to show you one of the ASMR things that this cockatiel does. And right now you'll notice she looks a little restless. She looks a little busy and uh, very interested. And I'll tell you why. It's because I have a treat for her. This is the treat. She loves potato chips. This, this little cockatiel, she thinks that's the yummiest thing on earth. See how interested she is? And I think it's very soothing when we hear her eat them. So what we're going to do, we're going to give her a potato chip right now. And then you'll see what I'm talking about. Look how excited she's getting. And look at the pocket here. She wants to fly over to me. But she knows that if she waits there, I'll bring her one. Look. Oh, she's all excited. Okay, here it comes. Her name is Henrietta. I think I told you of the other clip. She's heading for her food bowl because she thinks that's where she's going to get it. But I'm not going to put it down there because I want you to hear her. Let's see if we can pan down and see what she's doing down there. Up here, Henrietta. Up here. Up here. You're going to have to come up here for it. You're going to have to come outside the cage. Look how excited she... Look at her go for that. Loves that potato chip. 
Let's see if she'll come out. Come out here to get it. Over here. Yeah, right over here. I know you can figure this out because you are a smart bird. Here, let's help her out. She's talking about it. Now I'm going to have a mess to clean up on the floor. Have to get the vacuum out. See, it's, to me, it's it's kind of soothing, although she's awfully aggressive at the moment. She must be hungry. Have to see if uh, her food bowl got empty or something. I like to listen to them eat the little seeds. I don't know how they get the tiny little husk off. But she really likes that potato chip. I guess I guess she's a bird that likes junk food. They say that these birds eat fruit. I have never been able to get her to eat a piece of fruit. She'll only eat seeds, certain types of grains, potato chips, corn chips. See, now she's curious. She says, why are you talking about me? So her little uh, crest goes up and down, up on top there. Little crest feather. Look at her go after that chip. Are you hungry, Henry Bowie? Henrietta, I should say. After all, she was laying eggs just last week. And then she was getting very aggressive about protecting her nest. Couldn't come close to her. But now she's all done with that. Those eggs were not fertile because she didn't mate with any male birds. So she fiercely guards the egg for about a day and then she decides it's not worth it and then she doesn't care about it anymore. But I think if she had a fertile egg, she would stay on. Sometime we'll try to, you know, see if we can find a good male cockatiel for her to mate with and make little baby cockatiels. Anyway, I find it kind of soothing when she eats. I don't know what you think. And she usually only eat about a quarter of a chip, and she's very hungry today. Aren't you? Aren't you, little bird? So there you have it. And then we're going to show you the other ASMR thing that these birds are into in the next clip. Because they actually soothe themselves with an ASMR technique. And we're going to show that to you, which I find interesting. All right, she's slowing down a little bit now, finally getting full. I think it's because it's spring and she's doing this egg laying thing from time to time. It makes her more hungry. Needs all that calcium, you know, for her egg shells. Do you think, little bird? Okay, we we'll stop this one and um, then show you the other ASMR clip. You know, if I drum my fingers or anything, she'll get all upset. So I have to be very careful. She gets in, see, she get intimidated by that. Don't like that. And we don't want to be tense. We want to be soothing. Female birds are generally not quite as tame and friendly as the male birds because they have that nest building protective instinct. Make them want to chase off any threat. So, and they're not as social and as vocal. These birds usually don't talk very easy, but I had a male cockatiel once, taught him all kind of words. Um, he was much more outgoing. And she's tame, but kind of like almost feral, you know. All right, I think she's done now. Thank you, Henrietta, for starring in this little clip of our ASMR video. She said you're welcome. All right, we'll go see the next clip.
see she be grinding. She do this when she's uh, very relaxed. When she's happy. She's getting herself ready for sleep. And those beak grinding noises, it's the noise that soothes her and makes her ready. She will tuck her head under, eventually, uh, tuck her head under her feather and go to sleep. So I think even cockatiels are into ASMR, as you can see. And uh, that's kind of interesting, you know, I think. And uh, she's a very happy bird right now. So she just got some special treats and things that she wanted. Uh, she's in an egg raying mode at the moment. Uh, she lays these eggs in the spring and in the fall. And uh, she's kind of silly when she does it because she won't let you get close. If you get close when she's on an egg, they don't hatch because they're not fertile. But if you get close while she's on an egg, she starts swaying back and forth and getting all threatening. And her beak opens up like she's going to bite you. And uh, she get all fierce for a little tiny bird that weighs an ounce. But, uh, you know, she's uh, very protective, as all mamas are, I guess. So I just thought that was interesting, that even a cockatiel uh, do kind of an ASMR thing. And uh, that's kind of soothing to me to listen to her, because I know she's happy and going to sleep when I hear it. So... If I was to go over to her, though, she wouldn't like it, and she would stop beak grinding at this moment. She just wants to be quiet and left alone when she's in this mood. You know, like sometimes you just want quiet and peace when you're in your bed and uh, ready to be mellow, everything like that. You don't want someone bursting in, making noise at you. So, anyway, uh, we'll visit her again some other time see what she has to say about things. That little, um, little bird. Or my daughter call her that cute little bird all the time. It's interesting, the females in the bird, uh, in the bird world, it's the males that are all colorful and, and attractive. And, uh, seem like in the human world, it's the females. So, you know, don't know how that worked out that way. I guess because we have to be the competitor to win over the heart of the female. So in the bird world, in the human world, the uh, female attract us, and then we have to work hard to attract them back. But in the bird world, it's like the male has to compete to get the attention of the female. So anyway, uh, maybe somebody who understands uh, all the biology of it can explain it to you better. See, now she's getting ready to sleep. That's why she turned her head like that. And she's going to tuck her head under pretty soon. Don't know if we'll be able to catch that or not. She won't tuck her head under while we're watching her. That make her a little bit nervous, even though she's happy right now. So, maybe if I get far away, uh, we can come back and take a peek. All right, so that's... Uh, her name is, by the way, Henry Bowie. Um, after a character... Uh, and it's, it's my daughter, Bird. And she named her after a character in a Stephen King book. But after she named her Henry Bowie, she figured out that it's a female, not a male. And uh, so now she's maybe Henrietta. Once she started laying eggs and everything, you know, then we knew it. Now she's going to eat. And uh, that kind of a soothing sound, too, when she's eating. Um, eating her. You know, she has a bird seed, cock special cockatiel seed. But she really loves to eat corn chips and things, too. So that's a little treat for her. I gave her a little corn chip today. She came flying over when I got the corn chip back, which made it obvious. She came flying over and landed on my shoulder. And she usually don't do that, so she really wanted one of those. So I indulge her. And uh, there she goes, having another bite. Yeah, because it's egg raying time. She has to eat a lot, you know, to make the eggs. All right. So, Henry at the Bowie. And she's going to do some beak grinding again, I bet you, after doing that, eating. Yeah, but now she's watching me, watching her. Are you watching me, watching you, watching me, watching you? Is that what you're doing right now? Yeah, see, she responds. She knew it. You see, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Okay. All right. So, move on to something else. Now, while we are on the subject of pet videos who like ASMR... 
I want to show you this bearded dragon, which is Mrs. Mikey's pet. See how she pet her like that? When she does that, she often gets very, very soothed, and she will close her eyes and go to sleep. And sometimes she'll do that with her voice prompts, too. So, um, she's not doing it right now, but she was a few minutes ago. When she saw me come up with the camera, <laughs> then she got a little bit nervous and said, Why that big guy there with that camera? So then she stopped being soothed. See, there's a little tiny bit restless now, but quite often, a little bit of massaging of the head and things like that, and she'll go right to sleep. The beardy. I think she have a little necklace on. Let's see. Yep. Mrs. Mikey, can you point out the little necklace on that beardy? Yeah, right there. She made that for her. She actually has some flying wings, too, that we show you sometime. And she turned into an actual flying dragon. Well, she doesn't actually fly with them, but it looked like she would, if she could. So, uh, maybe she'll do that for Halloween next year or something. All right. So... Hey, I want to show you an amethyst over here. Got from Mrs. Mikey. We'll, we'll zoom in on that for a second. When I get the high definition camera, we'll do a jewelry show. And I'll have her model some of her jewelry for you. Because I know everyone likes that. Alright, so. Anyway, now you've seen the cockatiel, Henrietta Bowie. And you've seen the beardy. Her name is Barbie. And I'll show you why. Let's zoom in on the side of her. Now you know why her name is Barbie. Okay? After I zoom in on that. All right. That's it for today. We are here again in Mrs. Mikey's boudoir. And I wanted to show you, while we're talking about pets and ASMR, that the beardy, the bearded dragon, likes to find little places where no one will bother her to take a rest and a nap. So let's look, and she camouflages herself, as you will find out. So, see, here's a makeup bag. I know people like the sound of a makeup bag. I don't know what all this stuff is, because I'm a guy. But what's amazing to me now we're straying off topic, is that when we go on a trip, the women in our lives can pack bags and suitcases full of stuff. And you would think that a curious person like myself would one day say, what in the heck is all that stuff that has to go with you on a trip? So someday I'm going to ask her to do an ASMR video and describe all these things that she's got in bags and suitcases and travel cases. But to get back on topic, oh, oh there's a happy ladybug thing there, so you, you can't really look at that and be angry or tense, can you? Let's look at the expression. Okay, but what we were trying to talk about is a camouflaged bearded dragon taking a nap because what soothes her do you see her in the picture, like, where's Waldo? There she is right there. Let's zoom in and take a look. Look how she can put her legs right behind her like that. And uh, she's sleeping right now. So we'll talk very quietly. But um, when she gets in a mood to take a nap, she'll find a place to put her head in the shadows so the light's not bothering her. Sometimes she'll root into a little tunnel or something. And uh, then she's happy and calm and peaceful and soothed. She's kind of chubby, isn't she? Take a look at they flatten out into a big round pancake sometimes. It's quite interesting. We got her when she was small. She ate a lot when she was small and got big. Laid eggs one time, so we know she's a female. Anyway, wanted to show you that for the pet 
ASMR video segment. Which here she is, Barbie. She had her eye open a second ago. When I started doing this with the rocks, she decided it was time to take a nap. And just one second ago she had her eye open. She may open it a peep at us again. But you can see she's pretty soothed by that agate sound. If I turn her a different way, look, she got this eye open. Because that side doesn't have the nice soothing sound got this eye closed. Do you think that means she's half asleep? Barbie is her name. Yeah, Barbie the Beardy. And uh, she gets soothed by a lot of things. Now she's getting wound up because she doesn't like the way I moved her. She waking up. Plus I stopped doing those rocks, see? So I'm going to put her back now. Back into her little hibernation cave that she likes to sleep in at night. But I just thought you would find a quick little pet video for ASMR interesting. So, uh, anyway, that's it. As usual, I have my normal advice for you don't ASMR and drive. Take care, everybody. Till next time.